Okay, so I'm just going to make a quick video explaining how gantry leveling works on the Voron V2. Uh, this is the same on pretty much all versions of the Voron V2. Some of the components are a little bit different, but the basic mechanics are all the same. Um, so first, I'm just going to mess up the gantry here. Okay. So the gantry is not trammed out to the bed at all. So first thing we're going to do is turn on the printer. And then what will happen here is I'm going to run the routine and what it will do is use the inductive probe in the tool head here and probe the four corners uh, three times and it will adjust the gantry after each pass until it is trammed out to the bed. And then the nozzle will hit off this switch here and that will set the nozzle offset. So we'll let that run. So the first thing it does is it does an XY home. And then it homes off the bed in the middle just to get a, a rough Z. And then it homes in the four corners. And then it does an adjustment to the gantry. And then there's your gantry is now trammed out to the bed. So if your bed is concaved or bent or deformed in any way, and we're talking, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 millimeters here, my bed is not out that much. It's two years of heating. I think I got a 0.2 millimeter dip down the middle now. So now the gantry is trammed out to the bed. And then when you go to print, you home your XYZ, and that will home your nozzle off of the micro switch. So you would do this after your nozzle is heated up. So it accounts for thermal expansion. And there we go. So now my Z is set and adjusted for the nozzle, whatever temperature that nozzle would happen to be. If I swap the nozzle out to another nozzle, I just have to home Z again and my offset's corrected. I can even swap out the whole hot end uh, I have a mosquito in here. I could swap to a dragon or a high flow uh, V6 if I wanted to, and I would just have to rehome the Z and my offset would be perfectly set. So yeah, so that's how a Warren V2 uh, does its gantry tramming and Z offset.